Wall Street indexes completed yesterday's session with the strongest gains at this month. Optimism replaced fears. The stock market remains under pressure, and InstaForex analysts will explain to you whether the stocks will be able to develop the anticipated Santa Claus rally. Exhausted by sell-offs, Wall Street traded with a solid gains yesterday. The major stock indexes were inspired by upbeat corporate news as investors shifted focus away from inflation and recession. <music> This change in the sentiment enabled the Dow Jones to spike by 526 points, or 1.6 percent. The Nasdaq closed 1.54 percent up. The S&P rose 1.49 percent to close at 3,878 points. The new session might spring surprises, and the benchmark index is traded in the red awaiting macroeconomic data. The S&P 500 is expected to trade in the corridor between 3,790 and 3,880 points. On Wednesday, Wall Street perked up in a light of the Consumer Confidence Index. The index surged uh, to the highest mark since April because inflation has been easing and the labor market remains healthy. Importantly, inflation expectations were 12 months ahead, dropped to 6.7 percent, the lowest level since September 2021. Apart from the upbeat macroeconomic data, investors cheered to good corporate news. Nike reported on its sales growth. It proves robust consumer activity despite high interest rates and a soaring inflation. Nike shares leapt 12 percent yesterday. The company said that its footwear and the clothes sales surged by 25 percent and 4 percent respectively, and upgraded its revenue forecasts. Besides FedEx, shares climbed to 3.4 percent and the shares of a Carnival cruise line jumped 4.7 percent after the company unveiled less than expected losses. Energy companies locked the biggest intraday growth among 11 sectors in the S&P. Energy stocks added 1.89 percent amid the rise in oil prices. The retail sector traded with modest growth. As for the economic calendar, U.S. existing home sales slumped 7.7 percent in November to the weakest level in two and a half years. This indicator might ensure the U.S. Fed to soften its hawkish rhetoric. Perhaps inflation has already topped out, but it has not stemmed yet. Recession fears, which were triggered by a long cycle of the Fed's monetary tightening, put a strain on the U.S. stocks. As a result, the S&P suffered the sharpest annual fall since 2008. The index is on a track to close the year with an 18 percent slump. Wall Street indexes are set to treat under the high volatility. Meanwhile, the stock market is going to enjoy a traditional Santa Claus rally. Traders could earn nice gains in the nearest days, starting from Friday and in the first two trading days of 2023. This period is the strongest in terms of earnings with an average profit at 1.33% and a positive yield of 79%. Today, the stock market abandoned its hope. The reason is the resilience of the U.S. economy. The U.S. economy expanded 3.2 percent in the third quarter segmentally, stronger than 2.9 percent increase in the second estimate and above the consensus. The reading reveals a recovery after contraction for two quarters straight. Consumer spending and investments in civil construction locked expansion, but retail trade made the biggest contribution. Such upbeat data is a bullish for the US dollar and the Fed's aggressive tightening. At the same time, it ruins the fragile optimism on Wall Street. That's why US stocks are trading in the red today, and the high-tech sector is a 
trading under pressure again. Shares of a Micron technology dropped 3% in the pre-market after the chip manufacturer released the forecast of larger-than-expected losses in the second quarter. The revised US GDP data revived the US dollar, its index perked up and added 0.14%. The index is trading at 104.20 within the intraday corridor between 103.80 and 104.50. The healthy US economy and the fact that inflation is still way above the Fed's target level are beneficial for the US dollar. On the other hand, the US dollar is unable to resume its stunning rally because the Fed might moderate the pace of rate hikes. Investors are calming down fears about the further aggressive tightening. The weekly update by the US Labor Department indicates healthy conditions in the labor market. The number of first-time jobless claims locked minor growth of 2,000 last week. So the actual reading came in at 216,000, much lower than 222,000 expected. The USD card pair is a trading steadily, having climbed 0.17% intraday, and the currency pair is a trading at about 1.3615. The intraday carrier is seen between 1.3590 and 1.3640. The loonie cannot enjoy the full support of rising oil prices because of the from US dollar. The Canadian CPI data showed that inflation is losing its grip, though not at the fast as expected. The annual CPI for Canada slipped to 6.8% in November on the back of easing inflation of gasoline prices. Thus, the Bank of Canada has room for another rate hike in January. The core CPI confirms that inflation in Canada has reached its peak. Nevertheless, the index is still much higher than the target level. To sum up, the door is open for a rate hike of 25 basis points, but investors hope for a pause after seven consecutive rate hikes. The crypto market remains roughly sideways. Given weak responses to the industry-related news, Bitcoin is now trading at about $16,800, altcoins are trading mixed, and a new twist uh, occurred in the FTX saga. Former Alameda researcher CEO Carolina Ellison and FTX technical director Gary Wong have played uh, guilty to criminal charges uh, and uh, are cooperating with the prosecutors. FTX founder and the former CEO Sam Bankman Fried was uh, in a FBI custody and um, is on his uh, way back to the United States after being extradited uh, from the Bahamas. Remarkably, the crypto market has become immune to such news and uh, is a trading steadily. Bitcoin is still looked uh, inside in a range between $16,600 and $17,000. To sum up, their fundamental background does not encourage appetite for risk. See you online tomorrow!